We are yeah, live. Yeah, you know that lady from, um, what? Yeah, we are live. How can you put me on live? I'm very sorry. Yeah. So, should <laughs> I end it now? What? You were saying something. We're just testing it. Okay. All right, cool. So, you can, yeah, we'll get back on at the right time. Hey, Adam, we're waiting for you. Where you at? Yo, Adam. Yo, they want you to leave this <laughs> Okay, so what time will you be here? Like in a few minutes? I walk you. You're quite late, but I'll start without you. Hi guys. The watch it better be worth it, man. So we have three minutes left to start this. Yeah. Okay. Live I'm waiting. Video, I'm excited. We are waiting for Adam from uh -huh. Swiftly Global. Okay. So go. Bye. We'll get in touch shortly. What? No. We're gonna we're gonna start without him, right? Yeah. All right. Dope. So I'm gonna start exactly at ten o'clock, just so I can wait for everybody. Um, I will do my best to save this video. Um, so again, what are we talking about today? I'm going to be giving you some tips and some little things to help you if you're doing export and you're like a young business, you're an older business. I'm just going to be going over that. But I want to start exactly at 10 because it's really, really juicy and I don't want anybody to miss it. And I might save the video, but you know this is Ghana. Things happen to the <laughs> And we are going to be answering your questions you asked. So please stay tuned. And yeah, please do ask us questions. Karen is hiding under the phone so that she will take your questions and I will answer your questions um, before the end of the session. I have planned to dedicate at least an hour of my time. If um, I go over, I won't go over actually. <laughs> so if the time is up, just send me the, the questions and I'll do my best to respond to you myself and personally. Okay, Karen, is it time yet? Not yet. We got two minutes. All right, cool. In the meantime, I think we have time for an advert. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you sit with me while I'm... While you wait for Adam? Wait, and wait for the... Mm -hmm. the I, and by the way, Adam is late because he's going to buy us Wachi. That's how awesome this agent is, right? He comes with Wachi to the office. What? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh. Charlie, the air conditioner is good. Maybe don't all right, we got two minutes counting down. Two minutes counting down. Two minutes counting down. Please get your questions together. Can't wait to answer the questions, to interact with y'all, to tell you guys about stuff that's going on, how to do your export, um, about relationships, about customers, about customer service, about sometimes taking a hit. I'm gonna go over all that stuff. I'm a bit far away from the phone, so Karen has to give me your questions. So if you're asking questions right now, I'm not responding because I can't see it. One minute. Are people joining? Yeah. Oh, cool. We have about 14 people. Oh, I know. All right, cool. And. To be on time, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe expect me to pop up here at 10. No. There we go. It's 10 o'clock, guys. Woohoo! It's time for our QA. Okay. So, I don't, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Violet and I am the founder and the CEO of Skin Gourmet. Skin Gourmet is a Guinean brand. We deal with raw handmade skincare sourced from the wilds of Ghana and it's so pure that you can literally eat it. Now, uh, a lot of people ask me, Pardon? Sorry, someone is asking where we are broadcasting from. Okay, so right now we're broadcasting from our headquarters in Achimota. This is our main shop. This is our headquarters. We supply the world from here. All right, so the first thing I wanted to um, talk to you guys about is why, why am I doing this? Why is a skincare brand in Ghana willing to share information on how you can export? The reason is this. I personally believe that as Guineans, the only way we can develop our country is through business and especially through export. Now I have been through, I started Skin Gourmet in 2014. I have been through almost everything you can imagine in terms of trying to export. And I feel that it will be just easier if I can just help you guys so you can jump over my mistakes so that you can just get straight to it and not make the losses and the mistakes that I did so that it would be easier for you to be more successful in business. At the end of the day, I am a personal believer that a, a successful Guinean business is good for me too. At the end of the day, we're all paying taxes, right? It helps develop the nation. Okay, now, 
Second point, if you are here to learn how to export, but you're more interested in profit than the customer, you should probably log off because this is not gonna be interesting for you. The only way that this, for us, the only way that exportation works properly is if first you are customer focused. You have to think people over profit. Now I know it doesn't make sense, but if you put people over profit, people will come back. Profit is a byproduct of good intentions. So we are very customer focused in this approach when it comes to us exporting. Third point is that with export, if you want to be successful, the key is differentiation in your product line. Why am I saying that? You know, in Ghana, we have this thing where when one person does something, we jump on the bandwagon and do the exact same thing. That's not going to work if you want to do export because in the world, there's so many different businesses. In order for you to stand out as a business, for you to, um, um, to convince someone in another country to buy your product, you must tell them why your product stands out in the country. Now, if you are a counterfeit of an original, please believe your customer will find the original and will leave you. So also, another thing that you have to keep in mind with differentiation is that if we are all going to learn how to export, Case in point, let's take the skincare brand, uh, uh, um, skincare industry. If you look at K-Beauty, K-Beauty is a new trend of Korean beauty brands that have pretty much worked together and now they are taking over the world because of their quality, their consistency, and their differentiation. Now, I believe that we as a skincare, I guess, industry in Ghana, we can also take the same approach, but the only way we'll work is if we are different. Because if we're not different and we're all copying each other, we'll be suspicious of each other. So no one's gonna help anybody. Right, Karen? Right. Yeah. Right. So, so we have some few comments here. I just okay. want to bring Alright, so a few comments. Yeah, uh, Jessica. Uh -huh. Jessica sends an emoji, the hat. Oh, thanks, Jessica. And we have Nikki. Nikki, she said, I'm a female printer. <laughs> And we have agency. Love this. So generous and on point. Oh, awesome. Je All right. Jessica said amazing. John Michael says, I like the simplicity and transparency of your brand. Oh, thank you. Nah, All right. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm just going gonna, gonna to just jump right into uh -huh. it, right? So the first thing I want to talk about is why are we um, introducing Swiftly Global? Swiftly Global is a different type of uh, company that helps you with export. What do I mean? A lot of the times for us businesses when we're coming up, the first thing we think of is DHL, FedEx, UPS. Unfortunately, these businesses are not geared to really cater to a small business. They're you're used, it's, it's a global brand. They're used to big businesses that know what they're doing and sometimes they're not as helpful. We like Swiftly Global because it doesn't matter if it is 2 kg, if it is 100 kg, if it's 150 kg, if it's 2,000 tons, they're able to help you deliver these products wherever it is that you're going. When it comes, I will personally introduce him to you. The reason why I believe he'll be a great source for you is because he's very experienced in export. He'll be able to advise you. He knows how to pack it and how to get it there. Once it's even in the country, he still has people on the ground to make sure that the items get to your customer now i'm going to start with the questions that you guys asked me before i'll start talking about things like certification and how to get into europe how to get into the usa and how to get into certain countries in asia first question oh karen read it to me okay. that. the first one first question is from um, samira she's asking how do you export products out of ghana okay so how do you export products out of ghana the first thing is your products have to be un analyzed, right? Now there's GSA and there's FDA, okay? Most countries are more interested in GSA, which is the analysis, not the FDA. The reason that is is because a lot of them in their countries, they have their own certification standards. So it's more important to them to know that items have been tested and they know what is in it. This is what will stop you at customs. It is not your FDA certificate that they're looking for. It is your, your uh, GSA, I think it's your certificate of analysis, okay? That's the first one. Now, if you're going to a place like Europe, it is important for you to have the GSA certificate because for you to do business in Europe, especially if you're selling products, which is skincare mainly or like foods, they have to go through what's called an EU safety assessment. Without an EU safety assessment, 
Forget it. You are not going to be selling bulk in Europe because they're not going to trust the product, especially because, I'm sorry, it's coming from Africa. So they need to ensure that it is safe. Now, if you need help um, getting it EU safety assessed, I can connect you to a lab that can do that for you. The lab is in Sweden. Okay? All right, next question. Where can I rewatch it or get the info? I'm very interested. Okay, I, I think I got a couple of these questions. I'm going to save this video so that you guys can go over it again. Because I know I'm talking quite fast. Next question. I'm the US. Unfortunately, due to the time difference, I didn't get to watch your IG. I'm going to save it. You watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Which company would you highly recommend and what are their rates, please? Okay, the company that we will recommend for doing exports is Swiftly Global. And I'll explain why. Swiftly Global works with DHL. Swiftly Global works with ships. Swiftly Global works with FedEx. Swiftly Global works with UPS. Swiftly Global works with SDC. Swiftly Global works with... <laughs> With everybody, if you want to get your products out of Ghana, uh, contact Swiftly Global. The guy's name is Adam. He's late because he's going to buy me Wachi. That's how nice he is. He buys us Wachi. Mm -hmm. So he's going to come here and then you guys can save those questions and ask him about rates and all that stuff. I will make sure that we leave his contact so that you can also contact him directly to help him, you know, make your exportation much more efficient and, you know, that it works. Okay. All right, next question. How do you determine your price for international market? Okay, this is a good question. How do we determine our prices for the international market? This is the, it's first important that you have a website. Why? A website is what shows that you have e-commerce. Now, what we do is that we have two systems of pricing. You call one priority, and then you have a, well, I, I call mine priority, but you can call yours whatever. You can call it like agent, exclusive, executive, unique, Wonderful. Whatever, whatever, whatever. You can call it whatever you want, but we have two pricing schemes, right? You have to have a pricing for those who buy in bulk, and then you have to have a pricing for those who are buying, you know, business to consumer. Now, what happens is that you have to give those who are buying in bulk quite a good percentage in order for them to be even interested in selling your products outside. Now, why did I mention a website earlier? I mentioned the website because the only way you can even be seen visibly outside is you need a website. You have to have a website. There is no ifs, ends, or buts about it. Instagram is great. Facebook is great. But there are some businesses that will not deal with you if you don't have a website. If you need to build a website, you can contact us directly. We'll give you a couple of people who build some really nice websites at affordable prices. Now, the reason why I mention the website again is because once you are selling on e-commerce, you have your Ghana store and you have your international store, right? So in your international store is where you have to think of things like shipping, da 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 But also you have to bear in mind that if, for example, you are selling to somebody in Russia, right? Once your items get to Russia, say you sold the person like 30 Ghana cities. Once your items get to Russia, this person cannot sell it at the equivalent of 30 Ghana cities. They need to mark it up with the shipping plus whatever margin they need. So then you end up seeing your product maybe being sold at, say, 70 Ghana cities. On your international website, you must make sure that your price is not competing with your consumer, right? So it is important that you guys agree on the same price that you'll be selling internationally from Ghana and that they will also be selling it there. That allows them to actually reap the profits without you creating competition for your own consumer. Was that clear, Karen? Yes. Was that clear, guys? If it's not, just send me questions and I will elaborate, okay? All right, next question. Um, is that Kevin from the Champo Adventures? Yes, that is Kevin. I took the picture from the Champo Adventures. <laughs> we have an episode coming up soon. Stay tuned. Um, this question, I think it has already been answered. Okay. Someone else asked, how can we export Ghana products to Europe? Okay, I'll go with this one again. The only way to export Ghana products to Europe is that the products must have been tested. I think I've already said this. You have to test your products. It might not necessarily have the FDA certification, but you need to ensure that the product is tested and you know that it is safe. Once you know it's tested and safe, customs will ask you for your GSA once it gets into Europe. But apart from that, you need a, what's called an EU safety assessment. I think I mentioned this already in the beginning of the video. If you want us to connect you with a lab that can do the EU safety assessment for you after you've done your GSA, DM us. I'll give you the contact. Sharing is what? Caring. What mode of payment would you advise as we do not have PayPal here? Uh-huh. Okay. And you do not yet have a website. Okay. So, number one, you're saying that 
she's asking how do you accept payment this is a very big one accepting pay international payments is huge and extremely difficult unfortunately paypal is the best option how do you get a paypal account eden can set you up with a paypal account swiftly global can set you up with a paypal account that's how easy it is to work with them now once they set up the paypal account for you this an, this is an issue that i had remember so what happens is that you have your into you have your website where you're selling e-commerce the customer buys i recommend paypal because customers trust paypal when they're buying from an African country. The reason is that PayPal has an insurance thing on it. So if you don't deliver, they can actually tell PayPal and PayPal will reimburse them the money. That is why it is important for you to get a PayPal account. You can get a PayPal account from Swiftly Global. You wait till Evan comes. He'll show you how to do it. And I get, like I say, I will put you in contact with Evan. Now, once you have a PayPal account, remember that PayPal is linked to a bank account. Right? But because you are in Ghana, you will not be able to withdraw the funds from your PayPal account because you only have a Ghana bank account. Say hello to TransferWise. T R A N S. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, let me spell it again. T R A N S F E R W I S E transferwise.com transferwise.com will allow you to create several bank accounts an account in america an account in europe based on your account in ghana this is the account you can link to your paypal if you if you link your transferwise account to your paypal account then you can easily transfer your funds and even send it to yourself in ghana either by momo or it's directly into your bank account i think i need to say that again right that's pretty juicy so Get a PayPal account and connect it to your TransferWise account. If you guys need any more details on that, because that can be a little bit complicated, DM me. I'm here to help. Okay, next question. And we have a website. She's saying we don't have a website. You need to have a website. I think I already explained it. Um, the reason is a website also f fosters trust. Um, I'm not. A lot of people will not trust a company that does not have a website because it just... It, I mean, guys, we're in West Africa, okay? We're in West Africa. You have to be as transparent as possible because of certain things that go on here. You need a website. There's no so if, ends, or buts about it. You need a website. It's in the website that you would use PayPal, okay? All right. PayPal, link it to TransferWise. Then you can get your mobile money in Ghana. <laughs> okay, next question. How do you get clients to trust you when it's their first time dealing with you? How do you get clients to trust you when it's the first time dealing with you? Um, I think it's something you build over time regardless, right? Like, I went back to saying, I'm going back to the fact that I'm saying that build a website. Clients trust a company that they know has been in operation for a while. They can see this from your website. They can see this from reviews on your website. How you also build clients' um, trust is that their payment method must be reliable, secure, transparent, and if anything goes wrong, they are assured that they can have a refund. If you are not willing to give your customer a refund when something has gone wrong, maybe export is not the best thing for you. If you want to be successful at export, you have to understand that customer service is number one. I think there's a question in there that talks about breakages, spillages, or if there's any issues during, ex during the export process. During the export process, if you take, for example, if your customer orders from you, you have to deliver on time, you have to respond almost immediately as soon as you get the order, and you have to build the trust through communication that is honest and transparent. What does that mean? If it is late, it's out of stock, you don't have it, don't not tell them to be very sincere, tell the truth, be, be transparent, and just be honest. If it's not going to work, so it's not going to be honest. If you, if you can't deliver on time, be willing to give them a refund or at least a partial refund. The idea is that you have to be customer focused and over time, your customer will build trust with you and will even tell other people about how trustworthy you are and how great the business is. So if you want your customer to trust you, it is deliberate effort over time. You have to be um, intentional about how you treat every single customer, ensuring that you are being honest, you are being transparent, you're giving them the best. That's how you build it. I mean, it's not that easy, but over time. <laughs> What company do you use to export your product and how did you find retailers abroad? Oh, okay. So how did we find retailers abroad? So retailers abroad, I'm going to be honest with you. Charlie, Bible. 
I pray and fasted, but apart from that, your product has to also meet international standards. If you want a retailer, you have to understand that they are operating within the country and within the country's laws. So you have to ensure that your retailer is covered. That means that your products are tested. That means that you have a distributor there that they can always rely on if they need new stock or you can deal with them directly. Also has to mean that you have your certifications and that um, you have support there pretty much. Um, a retailer is only going to take your products, but you need a partner or somebody there, or it could even be yourself, to communicate with a retailer and to still be responsible for your products. It's not like you just give the retailer your products and that's the end, you don't care. You have to follow up. How is it selling? Is it moving well? What is not moving? You have to work with the retailer to ensure that they make sales. If the retailer sees that you are interested and you are invested in making sure that they also make money, they will ensure that they take more of your products and they'll help to sell it because they know that they have your support. Another good way is, like I said, if your customers trust you, through word of mouth, they will talk about your brand in their countries. Oh my God, I got this stuff from Ghana. Oh my God, the customer service was amazing. The product quality was amazing. You have to have this product here. So they will talk to their friends, like we need more stock here, and they will reach out to you because your product is that good. And from your customer service experience you're given to other people, they know that, yo, this is legit and it's going to sell. Do you make sure okay, now it's hot. <laughs> How do you make sure Sorry, the integrity of the packaging, presentation, and distribution stays the same global? Oh yes, oh that's a good one. So how do I how do we maintain that our packaging, our distribution, and I guess basically our operations stay uniform throughout? Number one, every brand needs a brand guide. A brand guide. What is a brand guide? A brand guide is basically a document that lays out how the brand communicates, how the brand performs, how the brand interacts with its customer, who the customer of the brand is, who the audience of the brand is. If you don't have that and you try to move somewhere else, the communication will be disjointed. So we have a brand guide document, which we have and we go by. When we have a distributor, we send them that brand guide document so they know how they should behave online, talking to customers, who their target audience is, and it also helps them to sell because then they understand who you are. A brand guide is what will, a brand guide is in essence a uniform. So when you send your distributor a brand guide, you tell them this is your uniform and this is how you operate as a brand in this country. Without a brand guide, your brand communication will be disjointed. You need a brand guide for clear, concise communication all over the world and ensure that everybody adheres to the brand guide. You also have to monitor, give feedback, and implement. Again, it's all about relationship. If you give your brand guide as well, the retailer or distributor understands the brand. So then they can even have more of a passion or affiliation for it because they get the story. They get where you're going. They understand your direction. So you're all aligned going down the same road. Yeah, I hope that was clear. If you guys need help building a brand guide, I'm your girl. Just send us the questions and I'll DM you. Okay? How do you manage the handling of the product? Breakage, spillage, loss. Okay. <clears throat> handling the product. Breakage, spillage, loss. Once again, you have to be customer focused. One thing we, you have to do or you, you should not do, if you pack a product, and you send it to someone, no matter what your agreement is, no matter what your agreement is, if the items get their damage, that's your problem. That's your problem. And as much as a lot of people will say, okay, then the customer, then you're not going to, uh, what do you call it, refund the customer because it was because of the shipping agent, that would be a detriment to your own company and be a detriment to the relationship with you and your customer. If there is breakage, replace it or refund them. There should be no questions asked because you packed the items, gave them to the shipping company, and then it got their damage. If you try to fight your customer on breakage or spillage, you will ruin your own reputation with the customer, you will ruin your relationship with the customer, you will you even spoil the vibe around your own products, if, right? Yeah. So with breakages and spillage, I'll say, from where you are, you need to pack it effectively, and you have to make sure that it does not break. Are there breakages? Yes, there will be sometimes, especially if you're using glass like us. If you're using glass, sometimes there'll be breakages. It, it is just, um, it's not something that you can completely avoid. We are still working on it. But at the same time, another thing you can do is you have to invest in proper packaging. What do I mean? 
buy bubble wrap or a sustainable equivalent. Um, what do you call it? Karen, your head is distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> buy bubble, bubble wrap or equivalent. Make sure you buy proper cotton boxes to help with the transport. Make sure everything is wrapped well. Make sure everything is sealed well. That is extremely important. Make sure you don't have any leakages. It takes time, so don't be mad at yourself if sometimes you have breakages. Even us up to now, we sometimes will still have damages. But the point is that when you have damages, that is your problem. Do not make that your customer's problem. Replace it, refund them, and fix the relationship with the customer. It is more important that your customer is happy than that you have made a loss. Because a happy customer will come back. An unhappy customer will not come back. And that is a much greater loss in the long run. Yes, next question. I just started a business. Is it important to get to websites now? Yes, you just started your business, girl? Put up that website! Put up your website. You need a website. I mean, you need a website. You need, you need a website. I mean, you, you don't know how many people have missed out on, on great opportunities because they didn't have a website. Accelerator programs, like the one we went to at L'Oreal. If we didn't have a website, right, we would have got invited to a lot of exhibitions. If we didn't have a website, a lot of people will only do business with you if you have a website. Because a website shows that I can trust this company. They actually have a presence in the web. Yeah? Okay. And then explain the price dif differentiation again. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. I should explain the price differentiation again. So what we do is we make products in Ghana. Handmade in Ghana. So our prices in Ghana are different from our international prices. The reason for this is because once your customer buys from you in bulk in Ghana, they ship it outside. They have to make a profit, they have to pay for shipping, they have to pay for overheads. So therefore, your pricing outside should be the same as your customer's pricing outside. So for example, if your customer is selling your cream for say $30, it should be $30 on your website and it should be uniform throughout different countries. The reason for that is so that your customer will benefit, your customer will make a return, your customer has a margin. If your customer is not making a profit, then they're not benefiting from the business. So your pricing should be that you give enough room so that whoever it is is buying from you will be able to make a profit, but you will not compete with them wherever it is they are outside Ghana. I hope that was clear. But if not, DM me. And were you originally based in Ghana? Yes. Skin Gourmet is 100% Ghanaian owned. 100%. I started this company with 145 Ghana cities. I started with three formulations. I went to church and I prayed to God to give your company a bam. <laughs> he did. It's from Ghana that now we've been able to create Skin Gourmet USA and Skin Gourmet UK. And can individuals purchase your product and export here? Huh? Sorry? What does it mean? Yes. Can individuals purchase, purchase the product and export it? Yes, people do that all the time. So people come and buy our products in bulk and they take it wherever and then they resell it. Um, with that one, it's difficult to know where they're taking it, um, but it's possible. People do that all the time without a distribution agreement, which could be to their own benefit or to their own detriment. But we can talk about that later. Just DM me. This is from Business Explore. They're asking when they can get on a, a Instagram live with you. Business Explore, you want to get on Instagram live with me? How much you pay? <laughs> <laughs> DM me, we'll talk. DM me, DM me, DM me. Who's next? The next one is, um, the person is suggesting you can use Mondo Logistics. Is the best. Mondo Logistics. Um, I can look into it. Thank you for also suggesting it. I love the, the flow of information. So somebody is suggesting in our chat that there's also another company called Mondo Logistics. So you can check them out as well. So there's Swiftly Global and Mondo Logistics. I don't know Mondo Logistics, but one of our uh, viewers is saying that we should check them out. So I think we should check them out, okay? okay. Karen, we'll check it out, right? Yes. All right, awesome. What's next? How long does it take for you to export your products to other countries? Okay, so um, usually it takes, uh, Adam is really good. He's really swift. So sometimes three to, um, two to three working days, but it depends on how far away it is. And of course, it depends if there's COVID. So typically, maximum five working days, our items are with the customer. Yeah. 
and also it means like a huge shift and it takes more than that uh huh yeah so like okay that's a good point Karen so it depends if you're doing air freight it takes us maximum five working days to get to whatever country that it has to get to however if your shipment is really large then i would not suggest air freight because air freight is extremely expensive because it's going on a plane in that case you need to do it via ship ship can take 45 days it can take 45 days or 60 days depending on the country it's going to plus customs and clearing however it is much 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 cheaper so for example if you're sending to a distributor who's able to take bulk then i would suggest you go with shipping swiftly global does shipping as well okay you sound american I sound American. I went to school there, but I'm getting here now, Charlie. It's still region. I'm from Bukharin to me. And then, if we resell in the UK, we have to get it tested. No, if if so, for our products, if it's our products and you want to sell it in the UK, there's no need to get it tested because we've done all of our tests. We've also done our EU safety assessments. But if you're talking about your own product, if you want to sell in the UK, yes, you have to test it. Hey, go to GSA or, or um, CSIR. But you need to get the analysis before you can even get it tested at European standards. I hope that was, that was helpful. I hope so. Oh, girl. Stunning brand and love your energy. Wishing you all the success. What delivery company you use? DHL. Thank you. Saludos from Spain. Oh! Oh, hello from hello Spain um, we use different we use swiftly global so it depends I speak to Eden and Eden will look at the best the cheapest way to get it there the fastest way to get it there and so he works with different car carriers right so swiftly global works with DHL FedEx UPS or STC whoever so depending on where you're going you consult with swiftly global and they'll give you the best option and the best rate I hope that was clear so it's very easy all you do is contact swiftly global tell them I have this and it needs to get here. How can I do it at this budget? And they'll help you. Simple, 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 simple. And this is from mommy. She's asking, is that Adam Sufli Global? That's my cousin. Karen, say hi to him, and I want to watch it too. Mommy from Sanitary Kids. <laughs> Girl, get off my live! <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Do you have experience using fulfillment sentence in the UK or USA? Yes. Um, we do have experience with the fulfillment centers. We have some experience. I don't use fulfillment centers right now. A fulfillment center, and for those of you who don't know, is like, for example, I send bulk to say the USA and it's received in a warehouse. And these people then have an online store that dispatches it to people. The reason why I don't have much experience in fulfillment centers is number one, they need a lot of inventory, a lot of inventory, which means that you're sending the inventory there either by ship. Now, these fulfillment centers can sell really quickly. So if you do not have the capital to be shipping bulk by air or the capital to send extreme bulk at once, that might be a bit difficult. Also, there are so many fees that are involved with a fulfillment center. I would not suggest a fulfillment center if you're just starting. If you're just starting, get a partner. If the worst comes to worst, get a family member. Just put it in their house. Have your online shop and beg them to just send your things for you until you have the capital to have a fulfillment center or even to hire people to do it for you. When you are beginning, um, for, for me, I started with 145 Ghana cities. I was, I'm, I'm strapped, capitally, I'm strapped. We don't have investors, we don't have loans. So find every which way you can without jumping to what the big boys are doing. Carrying your nails, I might. <laughs> without doing what the big boys are doing. Okay, so if you have a cousin in, say, Maryland, yo, Kuzon, what's up, Charlie? Hmm, I need someone to help me sell my products, right? Send the products over there. They can help you in terms of small fulfillment. But of course, you have to realize that if you're going to be working with somebody, they have to be getting something in return. Otherwise, they may not be as motivated to do it. I hope, I hope that was helpful. I wasn't rambling on. <laughs> yeah. Any branding company you would recommend? Yes! Branding company, I would recommend Effect Studios. Effect Studios, um, E-F-F-E-C-T-S. -F -F -E Studios. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's run by Michael Metal. They do our photo shoots, they do our website, they do they do everything for us. Um, and then also I'd also recommend Design Box. Design Box does a lot of our digital design stuff. Uh, design Box that's run by Alfred. Those two are great branding companies. How much capital does one need to do business with you? Just an estimate. How much capital does someone need to do business with me? Oh, what's up? How much is the, the cheapest thing here? 
<laughs> what's the shit we're saying here? Okay, if you have the ethnicity, let's talk. I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> but if you're talking about big business, that just depends. I like to work with people one on one and to find out what your restraints are and to see how we can help you. So it, it depends on the conversation we have, it depends on what you need, it depends on who you are. It depends. Okay. 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 Um, reviews on your website and social media page. Ah, okay. How do I get reviews on my website and social media page? So there is, okay, if you want to sell in the U.S., a great way to do it is on a platform called Shopify. Shopify is a great platform in the U.S. Shopify has um, a, has a, I don't know what you call it, right? It has an inbuilt um, app called Judge Me. Judge Me is how customers will, will leave reviews on the orders that they get from, from, Shop, from Shopify. Another way you can uh, post reviews from your customers is if you have good customer service, you get it via WhatsApp, right? Take a screenshot, email, take a screenshot, and then you can post it and then reuse it. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> um, do you sell bulk raw materials? Do we sell bulk raw material? I, I, I like to stay away from that, actually. Um, the reason is that we promote the brand. So we're not really into white labeling. Uh, some people like white labeling, so they sell the raw materials. We don't sell the raw materials. We sell the brand. But <laughs> the passion at which you share information, I love your energy. Oh, thank you. But sharing is caring, you know. And I don't want you guys to go through what like I've been through so much, guys. Like <laughs> I've lost so much money. I have been. I have. I have been everywhere just trying to get these products out. I don't want you guys to go through what I went through. It can be really stressful. So I'm here to help you guys. If you need help, just send me a DM and yeah. And and I'm still late. You see, got a man time. Go to watch it. Okay, what's next? Okay, all right. So I have a few more tests. Uh, hey, just a test. My gosh. So I wanted to talk to you guys about testing and certification. One more time. Testing and certification. Why are you so cute? Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. You're making me lose my train of thought. Um, so testing and certificates. It is important to test your... I'm just going to say it one more time. It is important to test your products. Without testing, GSA or CSIR, your products will not be able to leave Ghana and successfully get your consumer. It may if it is you know, business to consumer, but at some point, customs will check. So it is just better to export products that you know you have tested. GSA and CSIR and FDA are a great investment. Let me explain why I'm saying FDA is a great investment. A lot of us like to shy away from FDA because we think that, oh, so much work, da 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 da. FDA actually helps you export. FDA will come in to give you your manufacturing license, to give you your, whether it is food or cosmetic. We have both a manufacturing license. We have food and cosmetic manufacturing license. The reason why FDA is great, do not run away from FDA. Hold on to FDA. FDA is your best friend in life. Well, there are best friends in life. FDA comes in, they will then analyze, they will then check out how, what is lacking in your systems, what is stopping you from being able to um, create quality products. The thing is, if you go according to the guidelines that FDA has set for you, if you follow what FDA asks you to do, you are export ready. But if you shy away from FDA or you try to um, go through shortcuts, at the end of the day, it's only going to affect you negatively. You have to work with FDA. FDA will show you how to get your company compliance ready for international standards. FDA is your best friend. <laughs> FDA is my best friend. <laughs> I love the FDA. <laughs> okay, still not, still waiting on Adam. So I think. Do we send the DM via the brand handle? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, if you want to send me a DM directly, my um, Instagram is at Awo the Great. A W O T H E R E A T. That's my personal Instagram handle. Karen is looking at me like, why am I giving that to you? I know, but Karen is not going to mind if we ask those questions. So you can DM me directly, and I'll be able to answer your questions on my personal Instagram. But please don't expect an answer right away. I'm not always on my personal Instagram. I'm usually on Skin Gourmets. So just send me your DMs, any questions, and I will be more than happy to help. If you drop off your WhatsApp number, I can even contact you directly and um, help you with whatever issues you're having. <laughs> Why? What is that? Where is the watcher coming from? It's taking long. Oh, Charlie. Hmm. I don't even know. Let me 
call let me call Ellen and see what's happening to this watch because this guy pan. And then Jessica is saying reasons why I love skin gourmet. I was positive energy is willingness to support. Oh Thank you so much, Violet. This is so helpful. Oh, I'm so glad that I've been helpful. Thanks for answering right. my question. Ellen, you are on live on Instagram Live. Where are you? I'm on the gate. Oh, you're at the gate. He's at the gate. Woo! Ellen's at the gate with my watch. Okay, guys, I'm coming. What are we going to do? Huh? Which gate? Okay, great. So the watch is here and Adam is here. So Adam from Swiftly Global is here. So this is the best person to ask specific questions about shipment and about um, logistics and about this guy is about to now give you proper, proper information. So please get your questions ready. I will be, well, I can't go anywhere because then you guys will probably know. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, while we're waiting for Adam to come in, and um, I have to harp on one more thing, which is, guys, when I say differentiation, it is so important for you to be different. Another thing I've noticed in Ghana is like, for example, you know now when you go to the market, everybody's product looks the same. And I ask myself, why do you copy a brand in Ghana, right? If you want inspiration, look to the world. There's a whole world out there. That you can look to inspiration. You can you can follow um, pages that are um, especially inept at design, and you can get some ideas from there. Do not copy branding you see here. Ghana is too small. Accra is too small. Why you copy somebody else's branding? I don't understand because that is not going to push your business forward. All you're going to do is create confusion for the other person. Now it is also important that you differentiate because if I'm one skincare brand and you are another skincare brand. The only way we're going to work together is if we trust each other. The only way we're going to trust each other is if I know you're not trying to copy me. That is why Ghanaian brands were not able to unite together and move forward as a country. Because if you're copying the other person, you cannot facilitate trust. The only way to facilitate trust is to support each other and to find a way to differentiate. It is that differentiation that will even set you apart. Now, there is, I, some people think there's not enough ideas in the world. Everybody is created differently for a reason. Everybody is unique for a reason. You have something about you that nobody else can duplicate. That is what you should put in your brand. That is what you should put in your product. You should put yourself. Differentiate. Don't imitate. If you don't differentiate, you're going to end up cutting yourself short. And you'll always be the counterfeit and never the original. And everybody wants an original, not the counterfeit. Okay? Hi. There's a question here. Yeah. How do you feel about competing with international brands that contain active ingredients or complex formulations? How do I feel about competing with brands that have what? Complex formulations yeah, or active ingredients. Or active ingredients. I don't think about them much. They're not really my competition. <laughs> really. Because active ingredients, it depends. It, they have a different audience type. They have a different target. Their whole thing is different. I just need to focus on my target audience and drown out the competition. Don't focus on your competition. <laughs> Don't focus on your competition. Focus on yourself, your goals, and where you are going. You have to be your own competition. Don't look at what somebody else is doing. Look at what your customers are telling you. Take your customers' feedback, change it in a positive way, implement and keep changing. Be your own competition. Always improve, continuous improvement. If you have a weakness here, go back and fix it. Improve yourself. If you're always looking at somebody else, then you are not looking in front of you. So how are you going to advance? You end up instead moving into that person's lane and now you're competing with them at what they are good at, not what you are good at. So you need to focus on what you do best, okay? And focus on where you are going. Don't look at competition. Please, you don't know where they're going. They have their own destinations. They have their own paths in life. Don't focus on your competition. Focus on yourself. That will help you. I think Adam's here. Yay! Watch this here, watch this here, watch this here, watch this here. Okay, cool. Let me um, make some space. Girl, you told my scout, where's the guy? He's here. Adam! You are so late. How are you gonna call yourself swiftly global and be late? <laughs> let me see the car, let me see the car. Open the door. Hey. Oh, 
Oh my god, Adam is looking all fresh because he's coming on Instagram like Guys, guys, put your hands together! Adam of Swiftly Global is finally here! I'm sorry, yeah. Who's here? I'm sorry. My brother? Yeah. My brother's here too! <laughs> Where's my brother? Oh my god, my whole family just showed up, guys. This is gonna be so awesome. Adam, Adam, come on, go. Adam, 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 Yay. Adam. Adam wants to be going, guys. <laughs> How are you? Adam. Okay, um, Adam, yep. you're gonna have to take my seat. Hey, guys. Okay, here we go. All right, take a seat. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm good. So, Adam, please introduce yep. yourself. You already have people on there. Um, Adam. <laughs> I hope you can see me. Um, and I'm out swiftly. The most amazing shipping company in the world. Yay! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, wait, Zion. And then they can't see you. They can't see you. No, they can't see you. And he's young. Oh, that makes sense. I'm young. So, nice to see you guys. What? I don't get a hand. Oh, sorry. I just, I was all over there. He's a brother. I had a suicide. Your mom, yeah? No, she went to a funeral. Oh, yeah. Okay. Someone is asking you, how yeah. do you call yourself right. Swiftly Global? <laughs> well, yeah. because we are Swift and we cover the globe. <laughs> oh my god, this is quite an answer. Yeah, she can tell that she's really like, yeah, yeah, she really wants to take care of and stuff. She's really going to come back with it. <laughs> it's great to be here. Is it watching? Yes, it's you watching. Brought, of course, your brother watches. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Alright guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm the, back. The, the IG handle is swiftly underscore global. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. See you guys, love you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'm back. I'm sorry, my family came, so now I'm here with Adam. This is my guy, Adam. Okay? Yeah. Adam basically... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Adam basically saved us in terms of export, okay? Oh. Like honestly, like, you know when you're working with big companies like DHL, like FedEx, you kind of get lost because they have so many different... Um, the, uh, so many different customers. But what I like about Swiftly Global is I can call him like, yo, yeah. Adam Charlie, I'm coming from China, 4 a.m., you need to get there, how much it cost, how's the fast delay, and Adam yeah. will just break it down for you. Yeah. So guys, I think we're ready for your questions. Please, the, the watch here And then, right. yeah, yeah. The someone is asking, right. we want to see that this watch here really exists though. Oh, go, oh, I'm opening it, don't worry. Come, I'm coming. Hey, Adam, hey, where did you buy hey, the watch? Charlie, uh, sorry, mommy, mommy, right. are you? The uh, watch has right. The watch has that right. The watch has that right. The watch is is custom made watch. It's custom made from where? From Zakia's kitchen. Hey. Trust me. Are you serious? Uh, where? Trust Come me. On. This was ordered. This wasn't bought. It, it was, was ordered. ordered. Not bought. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where exactly? Where? Chale. As if you know. Ay ay ay. Hello. Instagram. Yeah. The watch has come. Oh. Watch by Zakia. Watch by Zakia. Yes. Yes, yours. Thank you. Kara, where's yours? Okay, so and then let's talk. Let's ask a question. So, when a new a new company yep. wants to get into shipping, yep. like let's say Airfit, a small company, mm -hmm. what are some of the mistakes that a lot of people make that you see? Well, um, first of all, the first mistake they make is they don't they don't talk to us. Ah, that's, 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 the, that's the prime mistake that people do. Yeah. If you want to ship anything, if you're a small business and you want to ship anything, the first thing you need to talk to us because there's no company that takes care of small business like Swiftly. Yeah. Um, so, so get that one first. Secondly, what you need to do is to know that shipping prices are not the same everywhere. Nope. That's a prime mistake people make. Like, okay, they feel that okay, they can just go straight to an airline or straight to a courier company and, and get the best price to ship. It's mm. not like that. Shipping. <laughs> Uh, there, there are a lot of factors that pay when it comes to shipping, and so uh, you need to you need to check and check and check, and you need to compare across different areas and then before and that's you ship. What you do. And that's what we do. So we basically do that and save you the hassle of doing it yourself, and give you the benefits, the full benefits of the the price comparison and discounted contracts. Yeah. So essentially, what he does is right when um, you tell Adam, Adam, I need to take something to China, Adam will check DHL. 
FedEx, mm -hmm. UBS, he Aramex, does all of that for you. Aramex, Aramex, and, and Cabo as well, airlines. Bon appetit, thank Cabo you for all of this. We're about to eat. May bless Amen. our bodies, may nourish us, may never harm us, man, Jesus. And may we thoroughly enjoy it. Amen. Amen. Please enjoy. Thank you. Uh huh. So, what, what are the other mistakes that they make sometimes, you think? So, another thing is, another big mistake is regarding packaging. Like, mm. packaging is. Packaging is like 50%. Um, a fifty percent factor as to how much you, you end up paying to ship. Mm -hmm. Because I and that's one of the things that we've done best for skin gourmet. Because when we come and pick from here, we take it to the to the to the laboratory, mm -hmm. and we have scientific equipment mm -hmm. that we use to repackage everything. Yeah. And so a box that would have been would have costed fifty kg to mm -hmm. ship ends up costing about thirty kilos. Yeah. To ship. I'm and so and so it's amazing. You, you don't know what you can achieve with proper packaging. Yeah. Yeah. To save money. Because mm -hmm. you have those, this whole thing about dimensional weight and gross weight. Exactly. Which, which you know what? For example, if you come to actually DHL mm -hmm. and you say you have a package, they'll ask you to give the, them the dimensions. Yeah. Dude, who has time for that? Nobody. Nobody has time for that. Yeah. I'll give you dimensions for what? Come and take my box. What is that? This is the weight. Mm -hmm. So Adam does all of that for you. Mm -hmm. Another thing is also that his customer service. I said his customer service is extremely important. Once your item leaves here, you are most likely not going to be able to contact the customer about everywhere the package is. Mm -hmm. NM takes care of that. Yep. So he follows up with the customer so the customer gets the items and is happy. If the items get stuck somewhere, Adam will tell you ahead of time. It's not now that the customer will even find out. Yep. And then come and tell you. Adam fixes that for you. Yep. Karen, are there no. any other questions? Well, you, let me just okay, go ahead, say, We started this, like what, almost four years ago? Yeah. And so we know what people need. Yeah. We know the headaches that, that people yeah. face. So we specifically build this company mm -hmm. to help people out. You see, it's, it's kind of a rescue mission. And bring them watching. So, uh, yes. And so bring them watching. I feel I, sometimes I feel like I'm a superhero. You can call me the Swiftly Man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Honestly, honestly, Adam is a superhero. Uh, we have one time we sent a shipment without Adam. Mm -hmm. The thing went to the UK. Eh? Yeah. And got stuck. Yeah. It was a and it was this, it was a disaster. Yeah. And. We called Adam and said, Charlie, sorry, we didn't, give you, we didn't give you the order, yeah. but we are in trouble. Can you help us? And he did. The Calvary, he helped... the Calvary will always show up. Exactly. Why <laughs> mm. are you trying to point it out? Right? Let me show you my Wille. You guys know what Wille is? Wille is basically... Yes, Wille, Wille, Conto, Wille, 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 a spice delicious shoe. <laughs> the watch is not bad. But honestly, I like Rostone's watch better. Well, Zakia doesn't do the stone one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's nice. I like every, everything is fresh mm -hmm. and soft inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what funny shipping stories do you have? Like certain challenges that people cannot even think about. Like packages getting lost and what do people need to do to avoid in order to not make a loss and also to make sure the customer is happy? Is there some some examples you've seen that you want to tell others like this is something you should not do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, for one, I think that you should be careful about your documentation. Uh huh. Because documentation. documentation. Yep. Yeah, it can really mess you up. Mm -hmm. Listen, people have shipped containers and that have had to be retained. Wow. Yeah, because of improper improper documentation. So Make sure your documentation is tight. What kind of documentation? Well, in, we know of the MSDS, right? Material mm -hmm. safety data sheets, or in yeah. most African countries. Certificate of analysis. Uh huh. We know Wait, say that again slowly. Certificate of analysis. Mm -hmm. You know about the phytosanitary certificate. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, I didn't talk to them about that. Go mm -hmm. That's from people who normally ship plant products. Plant based. Um, yeah, plant based products. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Even natural skincare is also phyto. Uh huh. Yeah. And also there's the FDA. So a lot of suppliers don't take the trouble to go through to go through all this. Thankfully, Skin Gourmet is the most compliance company I know. We love FDA. So you have, you, FDA like, is our best friend. You have a stack of paperwork and make sure everything is tight. Mm -hmm. So like, wow, it's, it's always easy to work with Skin Gourmet products. Mm -hmm. But then for others who have not taken the trouble, I'd like to advise that you make sure you get all your paperwork tight so that your, your shipment doesn't uh, meet any hurdles, doesn't encounter any hurdles on the way. Um, European countries, you know how they are. Mm -hmm. uh, US, US tight on their FDA, tight on their... There's, there's one more country that you guys should know about japan mm -hmm. don't joke with japan yeah your packaging needs to be perfect as in when it gets there you can't be doing crooked labels 
<laughs> it, it needs to be perfectly yeah. and consistent. Like yeah. they do not joke. Yeah. So it's very important that your products do get their pristine. And the only way you can ensure that is you need to work with a reliable shipping company. And you know, that, mm -hmm. I, we said we talked about labels. You see, a product was just place on hold. Your shipment can move. A shipment can move. I said, why can't the shipment? Why, why is that the shipment can move? You know, so I did some research, 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 and I realized that all that was needed, because you see, Africa, we normally ship raw, raw, raw products. Okay. You see. So all that was needed was to just put a label on it, and then the thing was good to go. Oh that was God. just it. It's a very tiny thing. And then like, this, uh, this uh, supplier was struggling, my shipment can't move, the airlines are rejected. It. Like, no, no, no. I said, wait, there's some small research on here. Just put a label on it. Yeah. It went like magic. Are you serious? Yeah, trust so me. it's something as simple as just your labels, yeah. right? Yeah. And a lot of us, we. we like if we're shipping raw stuff, even if you're shipping, shipping raw stuff, still brand it, you yep. know? Still give it an identity. You want your customer not to think of it as, oh, it's just raw shea butter from Ghana. Mm -hmm. It's raw shea butter from Ghana from who? From Skin Gourmet, baby! It's so good. It's so perfect. I love Skin Gourmet. You know what Skin Gourmet, huh? Skin Gourmet. Skin Gourmet. Skin Gourmet. Guys, you need, you need this guy in your life, bro. Adam, if I, I'll give you his number online. I know he doesn't like what I'll do it. Adam, you have a question. Are you guys ready for Adam's number? Oh, Adam has questions. I'll give you Adam's number. Do you have a price list, Adam? So on our website, www.swifty.global. Wait. He has a website. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. If you visit www.swifty.global, you can actually get instant quotes for some of the destinations. Um, so, but for the others that they are not instant quotes, the moment you place the order, uh, it means to work out the code for you ASAP. Mm -hmm. And one of the most amazing things we do, in fact, we started this thing like the sh our share shipping space and share cost model. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cool, it's the coolest, coolest thing to ever happen to shipping. Mm -hmm. and what is it? What is it? What we do is that mm -hmm. you know, shipping lines and airlines they charge by minimum sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if there's a 50 kg, um, it's, it will be beneficial if you want to ship by cargo. If your shipment is 50 kg and above, mm. uh, because maybe skin going look at these things. Um, I mean, they are not up to 50 kg. So if you want to ship six of these jars, you know, and and it's to go by cargo, you make a loss because you'll be paying for 50 kilos. So it's about five kilos. Mm. What we do is that we take 50, five kilos from skin going and take five kilos from some company somewhere, some somewhere else, producing clothing, shoes, whatever. And we pack them together into 50 kilos wow. and then we elevate them to destination wow. and then we break the bulk and ship individual products to the customers so skin gourmet only pays five kg out of 50 kilos and the other companies will pay the rest so they share the space and then they share the cost exactly so we started this awesome model way back and it's catching like fire it's doing really well yeah. like Honestly, it's doing really well. And now, by sea and by air as well. Yeah. So we, we pack our own containers and then we ship them to, to Europe and then to the USA. Okay. And you know, so if, if you have tried to ship before, you know about this minimum one 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 CBM thing that the shipper lines talk about. As if we don't do minimum one CBM. If you bring ten kilos, we ship by sea. Wow. If you bring fifty kilos, we ship by sea. Anything you at all you want, you can ship by sea. Which is great for a small business. US, for a small business. Because we have small business centers, you see. Yeah. We wanna we wanna start with you and go together with you. Oh, the lights so, just went off. Yeah. Someone asked, do you cater hold for people check. in Canada? Yeah. Hold on. No. I will take care of people in Canada. Are we back online? Let's see. Um. Bam, bam. So our lights just went off. Interesting. Hmm. All right, I'll put it back on. I'm just not sure. Oh. Karen, thank you. You might have to reconfigure it. Why well, you ended a live video? No, it's but not ended. I want to just give somebody a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Are they still chatting? Uh, yep. Okay, yeah, great. What's the questions? Is. I'm sure they asked questions. Um, Karen, you pull I'm sorry the lights went off, guys. Who, who wants to grab this? Who wants to grab the watch? Watch it. Pull the watch inside. 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 <laughs> it's so nice, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. Someone is asking. Uh -huh. no, Can you spell the website? Please spell or pin the website. Okay. We will. We will. You know what we'll do? Mm -hmm. In the comment section of my last post, mm -hmm. the post announcing this video, mm -hmm. I tagged Swiftly Global. So you can check it out there. Now I want to give you guys Adam's number. I'm going to give you Adam's number. Where's my phone? Karen, I'll use your phone. Okay. 
Are you ready for Adam's number, guys? This is his personal number. He didn't want me to give it, but I'll give it. 026 796 0819. Yeah. Did you get 0819? And the code is plus 233. And the code is plus. Uh -huh. Also, if you guys are, if I have any international clients who are watching, you can still contact Adam, mm -hmm. and Adam will bring you our products. So yes. you also, so you can contact Adam directly, and you can also get in touch with a vendor in Ghana to do a shipment for you. Yes. That. And yes. Did that first one, remember? Yes, I did. Yeah, he was able to. So we had a client from the U.S. come and they picked up their items. It was really funny because we didn't even realize that they used Adam. Mm -hmm. So then Adam just picked it up and shipped it off very, very easy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me give you the number. This he has another number. No, I'll just give you one number. Yes. So I won't give you the number again. Zero two six. 796-0819. Area code is plus two three three. Plus two three three. Yeah. And I'm honestly I've enjoyed this watching. I the watch is awesome. Like, yeah, but I know you have to run. I, I, I have to run. But you see, this watch, I want the one who produces is a mm -hmm. genius. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's No, it is it's very nice. It's yeah. you know, I usually don't like salad, mm -hmm. right? But it's like the 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 consistency of the salad, yeah. the softness of the watch, yeah. the pepper, the, the pepper, the spice is just right. It's almost like a stew. Absolutely. So it's not like, oh my god. I think it was researched yeah. before it was produced. It was researched. Yes, there was it a lot of research. Yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a question. Oh, sorry, it's a question. Uh huh. Violet, do you calculate the shipping cost on your website to include shipping costs? Yes, please. I do calculate it on my website. But when I do it on my website, I work with, I told you about our branding guys, FX Studios. So FX Studios are the ones who built our website, and so they've taken care of everything in the back end, so I don't have to worry. FX Studios. And what people don't know is, this is, this is a secret, but uh -huh. it's a secret. pays for people's shipping sometimes, Yeah. from their own packets. Yep. Yeah, just to make the price cool, and to meet the price targets on the website. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> I that. but like sometimes, you know, because the shipping can be really high, right? So remember I was telling you that if your customer in say, um, say Netherlands or wherever is selling it for say $30, you should not be selling it for less than $30 on your website. So what you can do is do sell it for $30, but you can give your customer a bit of savings in the shipping, right? So that they're not paying too much for it, but at the same time, so you're still making a profit. So that's also possible. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Is he taking a, a picture? Sorry, I wasn't a selfie. How do I call him a picture? <laughs> Because the service are so cool. It's about you. Yeah. Someone is asking. Someone's asking. Lotion for dark skin. Lotion for dark skin, girl. Who DM you that? We're gonna DM you for that person. <laughs> right now, this is Adam's time. Trying to like do things about shipping. But all of our products are good for dark complexion. Our products are good for white people, for black people, for brown people, for yellow people, for pink people, for orange people, for blue people. And what yeah. color? Our products are good for everybody. <laughs> it's so good you can eat the tin set. So, like, let's just do a small wrap about skin grooming. So, oh, alright. I'm gonna give the lines. Skin grooming. Hey. Skin grooming. Skin grooming. Oh, skin grooming. Dope company. Skin grooming. Dope company. Skin grooming. Dope, dope company. company. Fingo me, African brand. Fingo me, go coming. Fingo me, go me global. Fingo me, go me global. Fingo me, go me global. Do we have any more questions? Because Adam has to run. Adam is very busy. The fact that you even came and ate watch with us is crazy. And I'm sure he's going to become even more busy after this. The number again, please. The number again. Adam's number. This is Adam yeah. of Swiftly Global. Yeah. His number 026 796. 0819 yeah. area code plus 233 three. all right guys if you don't have any more questions yeah. we're going to go asking for your watch who is asking for what your cousin your cousin your cousin's mommy oh, yes 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 Could yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, ah! hey come home for the watch <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I don't think we have any more questions, yeah, guys. Yeah. It's been a pleasure um, having you over, Adam. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming. Thank so you for the watch. Um, oh. It's so amazing, like what you guys are doing, and Violet is here in Accra running things and like creating this fantastic brand that can match up to any brand. Man, say the name, like, mm -hmm. there's no, no nobody even comes close. And very soon, the world's gonna know about the whole world, amen. It's gonna know about skin going, amen. And everybody's gonna ditch these toxic products that they are using that and all right. switch to yeah. quality and all switch to natural, all, all switch to what is raw, pure, pure and wild. Wow. Guys, it's a thing. Mic drop.
Wait, yeah, we did a mic. Did I, did I miss the pound? I think I missed it. Yeah, there we go. Mic drop. Yeah, yeah. just drop the mic. So, <laughs> like that. DM me if you have any questions. DM um, Adam. Guys, it was a pleasure. Let me know if you need any help. I got you. Mm. Save the video. Yeah. I said you should save the video. If you I don't, save the video. I don't really know how to do this, but let me try. <laughs> oh my god. We're hey, going to try and save the video. Listen. Skin go make cannot be mentioned without mentioning Karen. <laughs> Karen, come over here. Come. Karen, 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 come Karen, Karen, Karen. This is Karen. Karen is our export manager. Karen. Hi, guys. So if you need any help in export and yeah. I'm unavailable, yeah. this girl is a champion. She's a, the lieutenant here. Yes. Yeah. Go <laughs> she's a general manager like, of sales and export. She, this is all she does. So she's very... Very, very experienced and knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. If you can't reach me, just ask for Karen on this page and Karen will help you out. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you want to even be more creepy, you can just call. <laughs> you can just call our business line and just say you want to talk to Karen. Super <laughs> Karen. <laughs> yeah. Everybody needs a Karen in your life. Man. Everybody needs a Karen. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try and save this video. Karen, how are you going to save it? It has to be ended first. Okay, we're going to end the video and we're going to save it. Let's pray that it goes well so that everybody can. Thank you. Are you sure that you want to end this live?